Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn Boolean Algebra Laws and De Morgan's Law. The first section covers Boolean Algebra Laws. Boolean Algebra Laws are used to reduce logical expression and with help of reduced expression we can use minimum logical gates to construct our digital circuit. The first tool is AND Laws. In AND Laws, there are mainly four laws. A AND with 0 is always 0. In AND gate, we have seen that if all inputs are 1, then only output is 1. So here, 1 input is 0. So we will get always 0 as output. It is also known as NULL law. Second one is A ending with 1 is always A. It is known as identity law. If you will take A as 0, then 0 ending with 1 will give you 0 as answer. 1 ending with 1 will give you 1 as answer. So we will get always A as output. Third one is A ending with A is always A itself. We can take 0 as input so 0 ending with 0 is 0 1 ending with 1 is 1 this law is very useful in reduction fourth one is a dot a bar is 0 here a bar represents one's complement of input so 0 ending with 1 is 0 and 1 ending with 0 is 0 Next is commutative laws. So in commutation, we can say A or in B is always B or in A. Same like in maths. Second one is A ending B is always B ending A. In OR laws, the first one is A or in with 0 is A. So we can take 0 or in with 0 is 0 and 1 oring with 0 is 1 so we will get a as output second one is a oring with 1 is 1 which is known as identity law we can take first 0 as input so 0 oring with 1 is 1 and 1 oring with 1 is 1 this identity law is also very helpful for reduction Third one is A or in A is A. So 0 or in 0 is 0 and 1 or in 1 is 1. Fourth one is A or in with A bar is 1. So we can take 0 as input 0 or in 0 bar that is 1. So 0 or in 1 is 1 and 1 or in 0 is 1. The next one is associative laws. So like maths, we can put brackets anywhere in our expression. First we will take O-ring of A and B, then answer of that O-ring will be O'd with input C. The same way we can take first O-ring with B and C and answer of that O-ring operation will be O'd with A. Second one is same for AND GET. Next law is distributive law. The first one is A ending into bracket B O ring C is equals to A ending B O ring A ending C. We can take example of mathematical operation 3 into bracket X plus 7. So you will get 3X plus 21 as answer. So the same process we will do in this distributive law. So A into B, so A ending B plus that means OR get and A ending C. The second distributive law is same as first one but here we replace AND get with OR get and OR get with AND get. So in answer also we will replace AND get with OR get and OR get with AND get. This distributive law is very much useful for reduction. Next one is idempotent law. A dot A is A and A plus A is A. We have already seen these 
two laws in end laws and or laws but this particular two laws are known as inimportant laws redundant literal rule the first one is a plus a bar b equals to a plus b we can take second law of distributive for LHS then we will have two bracket a plus a bar and a plus b so first bracket is a plus a bar a plus a bar will give us one as answer so our final answer will be a plus b second rule is a into a bar plus b so we can take first distributive law over here so a into a bar plus a into b a into a bar will give us zero as answer so our final answer will be a b next one is absorption law a plus a b equals to a we can take a common over here so a common into bracket 1 plus b and 1 plus b will give us 1 as answer so our final answer will be a second one is a into bracket a plus b first we will apply first distribution law then we will have a dot a plus a dot b so a dot a will be a itself so a plus a b as intermediate result and using first absorption law you can say a plus a b is always a second section covers de morgan's law which is very much helpful for reduction of any boolean logical expression and it is most important question for the exam point of view here i am taking three variable de morgan's theorem you can take two variable as well so first theorem of de morgan's is a plus b plus c whole bar is equals to a bar dot b bar dot c bar we will take help of truth table to prove this so we have three variable as input a b and c so total eight combinations are possible for inputs the first one is a plus b plus c for getting output column of a plus b plus c using or get we can say if all inputs are zero then only output is zero otherwise output is one with help of this a plus b plus c we can construct a plus b plus c whole bar which is our lhs side we will just complement our a plus b plus c column so zero will be complemented to one and one is complemented to zero this portion is of lhs side now for rhs first we need to take a bar b bar and c bar so from this a b and c column we can construct a bar b bar and c bar we just need to complement our a column so 0 0 0 0 will be complemented to 1 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 1 will be complemented to 0 0 0 likewise for b bar and c bar and ending operation between a bar b bar and c bar will give us our final column that is a bar dot b bar dot c bar from truth table of end gate we can say if all inputs are one then only output is one otherwise the output is zero so this portion will give us rhs side so from truth table it is clearly visible that lhs is equals to rhs hence the complement of a sum of variables is equal to the product of the individual complements it is the statement of first de morgan's theorem the second de morgan's theorem is abc whole bar is equals to a bar plus b bar plus c bar so in truth table we have three inputs a b and c total eight combinations are possible for three variable first we will take a dot b dot c with help of end gate we can say if all inputs are one then only output is one now for LHS, we will have complement of this ABC. So just need to write complement of 0 as 1 and complement of 1 as 0. So this portion will give us LHS side. For RHS, first we need to construct A bar, B bar and C bar. So from column A, we can construct A bar 
using complement of 0 and complement of 1 likewise for b bar and c bar and finally a bar plus b bar plus c bar we can construct using or get if all inputs are 0 then only output is 0 otherwise it is 1 so it will give us rhs side so from truth table it is clearly visible that lhs is equals to rhs hence the complement of product of variables is equal to the sum of individual complements it is the statement of second de morgan's theorem thank you